Hi everyone, this is Fabio from BizLogic and today I wanted to show you some really cool features that we've recently implemented into our Meadow framework. This is currently one of our theme worlds that um, I'm walking around in, but this is not what I actually want to show you today. Instead, uh, let me quickly change the environment. So we've added three um, new scans to our public demo where we were experimenting with this new technology called 3D Gaussian Splatting. If you maybe follow my colleague Jörg, our creative director, you might have seen some of these scenes already in other contexts but now we actually have a pipeline to implement these kind of scenes into our Meadow framework and then being able to publish them. In general Meadow is this metaverse as a service platform that we can launch completely online basically an immersive web experience. If you have a look at this you can see that all of this is actually running on a website and, and rendered in the cloud so none of this taking place here in the scene is actually rendered locally on my own PC which we believe makes this tool super versatile and implementable in to a B2B infrastructure. Yeah, so this is a beautiful scan from a park uh, close to our office. And um, you can see pretty nicely how you can capture like a whole scene um, together with its reflections and everything. Uh, obviously, Gaussian splatting brings some problems with, with itself because it doesn't create actual geometry of a scene, but there are ways to kind of circumvent this. I'm gonna navigate to another example where um, Jörg has been experimenting with connecting a photogrammetry environment to like with a Gaussian splat to actually have a geometry of the space that you can walk around in. This would be a combination of a um, photogrammetry scene and a Gaussian splat scene, both taken from the same scan material, but then fed into two different processes. So in this case, the whole area that I can walk around inside is an actual um, photogrammetry scan. So we have a geometry for this. Um, and the benefits of this would be you can have actual collisions uh, of the environment where you walk around with you can cast shadows onto geometry which is something you can't currently do on a gorgeous splatting scene but if you combine these two techniques you see how realistic uh, a scene like this can look like and how beautiful it is also with uh, all the reflections being captured and actually then being displayed on the on the environment. This was a um, demo case for an architectural visualization. We were all also experimenting with augmenting this 3D scan with a virtual object, which in this case is just a placeholder, but just to show you the possibilities of being able to pre-visualize, for example, new buildings on a construction site that might be scanned, for example. And then I have another last scene, which is actually uh, a scan that I took. I have no background in 3D or programming, so this was actually me capturing the scene with my iPhone uh, in our office. We have this uh, really cool music and chill area here, um, where I've been walking around with the camera, taking an actual um, scan which in the end of the day is just a video. Um, I obviously was advised by, by our 3D team on how to do it properly. Then I fed it into a software um, that processes all this information. In this case, I've been using PostShot 3D and then um, it gives me out this Gaussian Splat scene, which we have this pipeline to integrate them into our framework. Um, we believe there's huge potential for, for these kind of applications like virtual tours from, like I was saying, pre-visualization to like actual apartment tours of a, like scanned apartments uh, or shops or infrastructure in general. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Would you know some use cases that the technology like this might be applicable? We're super curious. We actually are also working on some production projects uh, with this tech implemented. Um, so uh, stay tuned for some updates.